All right. Uh, let's move on to banks here. Getting hit hard in today's sell-off. The KBE Big Bank ETF falling 3.6%, while the KRE Regional Bank ETF getting hit even harder, down more than 4%. Here to break down where we go from here is Jenny Montgomery Scott, Director of Research, Christopher Marinak. Christopher, great to have you with us. Thank you. Um, if we push out rate cuts, um, let's, let's just say for argument's sake, rates stay exactly where they are right now. Does that do anything in terms of your thesis for regionals? Not really. I think that it's a mixed uh, impact. I think that higher loan yields are going to be positive for banks. I think deposit costs will continue to rise. So I think the net interest margin the stabilization theme that had been uh, vigorous the last four to six weeks probably gets pushed out one quarter. That, to me, is the worst case scenario. I, I think you know the question ultimately is, is the five-year Treasury going back to 5 percent, not 432, where it closed today? If we go back to last year's highs, then I think it's going to be more of a struggle for the stocks and for the business. Um, I, I'm not convinced that that's going to happen, though. When do you think we see the, the biggest impact, the, the peak in terms of you know, defaults and delinquencies from commercial real estate? How much of a lag is it? Because obviously it's not coincident. It's not it's certainly not, you know, leading. So, um, you know, in the great financial crisis, if you take a look at the St. Louis Fed data, it shows Q1 of 2010 after yeah. the great financial crisis. That was the peak in terms of delinquencies for commercial real estate. Where do you see it? How much of a lag? And should we be prepared? Are we are we should we price that in right now, that delayed impact? Sure. I think it's being priced in. I think it will continue to be. I think the answer to your question, second half of 25, it takes several quarters to recognize risk in the industry. We started last year, so we're a few uh, innings into this. But to me, it's going to go into 2026. So I think your peak will be the second half of 25. Banks, the good news is they have really good cash flow with PP&R operating earnings that they can continue to fund loan loss reserves, earn their way through it. I think capital is going to actually continue to build for these companies while they go along. And so, sure, we're going to struggle on net interest margin and deposit costs and those indicators. But the reality is the banks have the earnings to fund the reserves to handle the risk. Um, it's just not pleasant as you go through the process. It's Karen. Thanks for being on. So when do you think the stock prices will be sort of under the most pressure at that same time or before that? So I think it's happening before, Karen, because the reality is we have already a lot of conjecture about how bad commercial real estate is and how bad losses are. So the stocks are down way in advance of that. So we still have a little bit of premium on price to book and, and PEs for the group, although I think many stocks are at a discount uh, to where they usually trade. The question is going to be where are earnings going to be in a year from now and tangible book a year from now. I feel earnings and tangible book will be higher. It's just going to be a slow play as we roll through. I think the worries are going to continue because, again, it's going to take us several quarters to really recognize all the challenges.